Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the typing effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. So it looks a little something like this. Really, really just that simple. It looks like you know, you're know you typing the letters out instead of them just sitting there or fading in or something like that. It looks like they're being typed in and then I added a little typing sound behind it. And that's really the effect. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that in Premiere Pro exclusively. And then after that, I'm going to be showing you how to do it in After Effects just because After Effects, you can do it so much quicker. And I'm going to be going over that as if you've never touched After Effects before. So even if you've never touched it, you can just get in there, apply this one effect and get out. You don't have to do anything else. So let's get started on this. First off, we're just going to do the normal thing of creating ourselves a new sequence. So file, new sequence, just like that. Then we're going to take our footage and we're going to drag it in there. And yeah, let's just change the sequence settings. Whoops, that's not the button I wanted to hit, Alt. Zoom it in right here, and so now we have just this blank slate right here. So what we wanna do is we're gonna first create our text. So we're gonna to go to the text tool right here, we're gonna click and we're gonna drag out a text box, and then something like typing is fun, that'll be our text that we're going to be working with. So what you need to do is, the easiest way to do this is to go into here, so you're gonna click on the graphics file that was created, you're gonna go up to effect controls, then down to the text, and it'll have it in parentheses, whatever the text you typed is. Then we're gonna go to source text, and we're gonna click the little stopwatch to animate it. So now we have this going right here, we're going to move it forward, let's see, however long we want the animation to go, so maybe about two or three seconds, let me unlink this so we don't have to listen to that. So yeah, maybe like two or three seconds, I'm gonna click this, uh, go to the movement tool here and kind of like move it a little bit over. Maybe one second, two seconds, right here. And then we're just gonna click this button again. So now there's two keyframes here. We have one here and we have one here. And then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the text tool. We're gonna click on the right side and then we're going to go back one, two, delete a letter. Back one, two, delete two letters. And we're basically gonna do this for the entirety of the piece. And yeah, so it's just basically gonna be this. So uh, basically just go one, two, and then delete another letter at a time. And you kinda gotta space it out. You might have to do some math to get this right um, so that you're deleting the right amount every time and you actually end up at the, the correct timing that you wanted to end up at. So you see that this is actually going a little bit fast right now. But this is basically the essence of what you need to do to get the typing effect to work. So I should have probably went by three keyframes, but we're not going to go over it again. So let me just drag it over here and it'll just be a little bit of a quicker animation. And so now that we've created a keyframe for every single part, I've lined them all up here. Now you can see we have this typing thing going on and then we need to go to the first one and make sure that it is all the way deleted. And now we have the typing effect. And then what I did was I just grabbed a little typer uh, sort of sound that I got off of freesound.org. It's a great website to find sounds. I just typed in typing, click download, and you can just get really a ton of free sounds. So I just threw that underneath it, cut it down so that the typing starts here, and then made sure that whenever the typing was done, I cut it off there so that the sound ends, you know, there isn't like typing when there shouldn't be, and then you get this effect at the end. And now you might be thinking this is a little bit tedious, and yes, that's very true. This is kind of considered an animation, and Premiere Pro doesn't do animations very well. So the best way to do this is actually in After Effects. Now, if you just want to do it in Premiere Pro, go with that. You can do it all day long. Um, it'll just take you a little extra time, but you can get the effect. Now, though, let's talk about After Effects, and let me show you how simple this is in After Effects. So if you're feeling a little confident, just to be able to click a couple buttons, you can save yourself hours of work. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this graphics layer off. Then we're going to click on our footage. We're going to right click. We're going to hit replace with After Effects composition right here. Once it does that, it's going to open up After Effects. Mine's already open, so it's just linking it right in here. And you'll notice that this one right here, this is the footage, exactly how it was here. So now we're linked into After Effects. Now what we need to do is just go up to this text tool, click it, drag it out just like we did in the last one, and type. Typing is fun. And then over here on the right, there's going to be a character panel. All you got to do is switch to the font that you're using or that you want to use. They're going to be exactly the same as they were in Premiere. So let's go um, make sure to highlight the whole thing whenever you switch font. So let's go into maybe Impact like this. And then it's just like Premiere. You can just click and drag this if you get to the edges so you're not right on the text. You can click and drag this around. And then now all we have to do at this point is we need to go up here to Effects and Presets. We need to type in Type. 
ty is enough or you can type in the entire type right here and you'll see this animation called typewriter if I drag this and drop it right onto here and now when I click play it does the entire animation for us so it'll type out the entire thing you could have a paragraph of like a thousand words spanning across the screen and it'll do the entirety of it for you with just one drag and drop and that's why I'm showing you it's a lot more powerful and that's all you have to do now you're done you don't have to touch it you know after effects ever again if you want to make it a little bit quicker you can click this drop down menu and then drop down the text menu drop down the animator menu and then drop down the range selector menu so you're just going through the effects here and then now you have the start and if you want to make it quicker you move this closer to the first one so this is the end of the animation it'll happen at one second now now it'll take 10 seconds or 11 seconds so let's just say we wanted to make it go really fast go right here and now we have a faster one we can drag it all the way over here and now we have a really really slow one so let's drag it back to here and now once we're done we don't have to touch after effects we can just do this click save and we're done with after effects and the typing will always be here and then we just have to reassign or rework the typing right here and now our effect is complete and if we ever want to we can just open up that project wherever it's saved and we can just manipulate it and it'll bring it right back in here and now like I said you don't have to touch after effects again when you render this out it's gonna do all the work for you so you don't have to like render something out and bring it in or anything it's like it's a piece of Premiere again so I just wanted to show you that technique in case you you know looked at you have a lot of text to type out you just want to do it quickly instead of having to animate it in Premiere Pro but you can do it in Premiere Pro that is basically it on this tutorial all it is is very uh, just a simple animation in premiere or a drag and drop effect in after effects uh, so yeah that's it guys uh, if you got any questions or comments or suggestions for future tutorials go ahead and throw those in the comment section below if you want to see more videos similar to this one i make an adobe related video every other day so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and until next time guys see ya